Hey besties! You know sometimes when you feel chaotic? I feel chaotic right now. Good morning, Baltimore! Who's the... Hold on. Oh wait, who's the one was not even the lyrics. Every day's like an open door! <laughs> Can I tell you a little secret? Me and my friends have kept this a secret for a very long time, so you can't tell anyone. <laughs> but... Me and my friends love supporting theater, and we love supporting local theater, and we just, we love, you know, going to different shows, supporting the people, mostly it's our friends who are in these shows, and this one show, I will not say, <laughs> I should be saying this, I won't say what show it was, and I will also not say where I went to see it, but me and my friends, Brian and Ellie went to it, and it was so boring, <laughs> and so bad, <laughs> that we all took a nap. <laughs> Is that mean? Is that mean? Here's the thing, we had paid our ticket, we were there, we already funded them, but it was just boring and bad. So they slept, I kind of took a little nap, but I was focused on the show because I enjoy that kind of, you know, cringe humor. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to tell you that little story. And it was our friends that were actually in the show, and to this day we've told nobody that we did that. <laughs> I really shouldn't be exposing that, because now they know. <laughs> It wasn't Hairspray, I know I was singing Good Morning Baltimore, but I just love that song. Good morning, Baltimore! So good. Nikki Blonsky, let's have you on the channel. Let's do it. Y'all remember Nikki Blonsky? Anyway, let's get into today's video. I was being honest about feeling chaotic. I feel like my hair is really weird today. Anyway, let's get in with that. Woo! We have a Red Bull, which means, again, more chaotic. I actually bought a mini fridge just so I can put my Red Bulls into it. <laughs> Call it what it is. Professionalism. Today we're going to be talking... This is Dan- oh! Maybe I'll comment down a little bit. So something we haven't talked about on my channel for a while now has been the Gabby Hanna and Trisha Paytas drama. Now, we have more to add to this. We have little... I love saying insider information because if you know something that happened during the summer, let me follow you up. Some company sent me an email and they sent it to basically every single drama channel and it was basically leaning in towards the fact that maybe Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star were hiring a PR team. Now, since then, it's completely been debunked, but I was so excited back then to have insider information, or think I did, that I made a video called Insider Information About, and it caused such a controversy that the guy I talked about in the video came out and was like, yeah, this was not me, and a full statement, basically that a drama video came out against him, and then I did an apology back to him, I made a video completely saying it wasn't true, and all my friends who are drama channels were like, yeah, I got the same one out of him, and I was like, Ugh. So I love just putting insider information in the title now for shits and giggles, so should I do it this time, insider information about the Trisha Paytas and Gap? Whoa, that's a shy. I might do it. So really summed up, and I mean really, really summed up, Gabby Hanna told Jason Nash, Trisha Paytas' boyfriend at the time, that she had some sort of disease, sexually. Trisha said she didn't, and why was Gabby telling Jason this? Gabby went in her story basically saying, hey, should I tell Trisha this? Yes or no? It was just a lot. And there was a drama that's been happening between them because of that for years, and just tension. It was kind of silent, and then Gabby Hanna went on her podcast and was actually bringing it up again, and then this made Trisha Paytas very angry. Trisha Paytas made multiple videos, multiple tweets, very angry at Gabby Hanna. Then after that, Gabby Hanna came forward and said that she was actually releasing a song that she wrote for Trisha Paytas about Trisha Paytas, but Trisha didn't want it, so she was going to be releasing it on behalf of Trisha. It was that song we reviewed in my channel, you know the I'm such a mess, you don't even know the half of it, I must confess I'm a chump. Love it. Trisha was not happy at that either and was like, Gabby, stop talking about me. And after getting into Gabby's music, I have to say, thank you Trisha for giving me that song because I like it. I'm such a mess, you don't even know. It's actually kind of good. No, Trisha Paytas has a podcast with H3H3, Ethan, who has drama with Keemstar. Now, if you're watching my videos, Trisha Paytas also has drama with Keemstar because Gabby Hanna went on Drama Alert to talk about their old drama that was just, girl, why the fuck did she do that? You know what I mean? There was no drama. She was just rehashing it because of promo for this song. Even on the podcast, Keemstar said the best way for her to, you know, promote her music now is drama and he would do it and she was laughing and so, hi besties, my room is kind of a mess right now. I mean, it's a big mess. So this is also promo for my merch, you know, the blanket. Anyway, Gabby also did a tweet after someone was like, look at these drama channels changing their opinion on Gabby after listening to the song. Bitch, that tweet was at me because I said I liked the tweet. Oh my God, heaven forbid someone have an opinion. You know, that's actually nice about Gabby. They're like, stop hating on Gabby. And then the second you do, they're like, <coughs> they switch. Girl, shut the fuck up. And then Gabby responded and was like, oh my god, almost like mama knew what she was doing. So kind of just alluding to the fact that she really did use this drama for promo for a song. So I think that shows where her intentions are. 
Also, Gabby Hanna fans are so rude, considering the fact that I was actually being nice to her. They were almost more rude to me than I was whenever I was being mean to her, so... I'm such a mess, you don't even know the half of it! Okay, bye. They went on, drama alert, Trisha Paytas said she was offered to go on give an interview, but there's no fucking drama, and it's rehashed old shit, so she said no. Ethan, hates her hates 3 has really long, you know, mm, drama with Keemstar, so... Trisha and Ethan having this podcast is really a big fuck you to Keemstar and they discuss both Keemstar and Trisha Paytas in a new clip and we're gonna watch it and we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna have a fun time. We're gonna have fun, right? I feel like I'm taking my kids on a field trip. I'm 18 now. I can have kids. I'm pretty... I know people who had kids much younger than my age. Anyways, I hope they're doing well. Could never be me. Bitch, I can't even take care of myself. Now, the drama alert title basically alluded to Gabby Hanna releasing a diss track on Trisha Paytas. So starting off drama with the title, this one from H3H3 H3 also starts off drama by saying Trisha Paytas versus Gabby Hanna. There's four adults involved and they're all as bad as each other. But let's watch this clip. If you want to see the entire clip, by the way, I will link it below. This is from H3H3 H3 Podcasts. Highlights their YouTube channel. But let's watch because we're going to talk. Okay, who do you currently hate on YouTube the most? Oh my god, wait, what? Oh, um, easy, who do I hate with? Oh, <laughs> you're gonna give me. Can you guess? I can guess. Hands up, Trisha Paytas. Oh, I win. Wait, we'll see if I win. Hannah, it's Hannah. Hannah, it's Hannah. Yeah. It's Hannah. Yeah. Hannah Baker! Yes, it's me, live and in stereo. I don't understand this drama with you and Han uh, Gabby. It's Gabby Hanna, not Hanna. Hanna. She's like irrelevant. I don't even want to talk about her because she gets like no views. Like, what's even the point? We're like the two like losers that have been on YouTube for so long just going at it and not getting views for drama. Why do you <laughs> I mean, Trisha's very self-aware here. But the thing is, Gabby's views have actually been going up recently, which I've been very surprised at. And Trisha's views go up whenever she's trolling as well. So, I mean, they both know how to control it with drama. So, her saying that, you know, the drama isn't getting views isn't necessarily true because Gabby's music video kind of did well because of this and Trisha released a video on Gabby and that did quite well too so I don't know take for what it is you guys hate each other so much I, I the only reason I hate well the, I don't the only reason I disliked her from the beginning was see she changed it from hate to dislike she like wanted to be my friend I finally had to tell her hey you told my boyfriend I had herpes when I didn't she told Jason I had herpes like before I really? knew her and then he didn't want to like fuck me for a long time and then so much to unpack here <laughs> keep in mind this drama happened like years ago Years ago. Girls, give us something new, please. He's like, oh, but Gabby said, I was like, what? And then she said she told David and all these people. I was like, okay, she's weird. So I just kept my distance. Do you, have her, you don't have her fees. I don't have her fees. And I would like, first of all, she wouldn't know. I never was her friend. Then That's she, so weird as well. Like, did Gabby sleep with Trisha? <laughs> Does she know? She tried to play it on like Shane telling her that I had her fees, which that's not true. But she. Oh, no, that's T. I heard that before, actually, people saying that who was it someone started the thing that gabby actually told them that shane said it i don't want to say a name that i think it is because i don't want it to be wrong but i remember that was going around and people were like adam this person said that uh gabby found out because of this person and it was shane but take it for what it is she tried to blame him because she's crazy and then she started snowballing on drama alert she goes i don't want drama on drama alert giving an interview about drama was very hypocritical. It happened nine months ago. And then she goes, then she says, Trisha. Nine months ago? Jesus, I could have had a baby with him that time. Trying to call, he's like, oh. Allegedly. <laughs> Trisha tried to contact you? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. This bitch is crazy. I've never tried to contact her. Like, she's actually crazy and I feel bad for her. So honestly, I don't want to even like hate on her because I think she does need some help. Because I went through a mental breakdown last year and I needed to get help and I think she does too and that's it. But anyways, I, I'll say I didn't <clears throat> Who do you hate? You have to answer these questions too. It keeps going. Is like, oh, I, yeah, obviously. Team Star. Team Star's like. Team Star's the worst. Yeah, he's the worst. Now, if you keep in mind, it was almost like Gabby and Team Star versus Trisha. So now, having Trisha and H3H3 H3 versus Gabby and Team Star is like. It's getting heated. It's getting heated. Worse. He might be worse than Gabby because he's like even more pathetic. Like. Team Star is actually. The thing about Team Star is that he's actually just. Awful. Yeah, like, I feel like, Ga like, okay, so, like, even if, like, let's say, H Gabby, Hannah. Oh, my God. Huh? You guys have beef. It's like Hannah, Gabby. <laughs> and stuff, and mm, yeah. I feel like it's snowballed. But, like, in a... I have to say, how good does Teddy Fresh look? 
the clothing line, damn. The James Charles drama really made me realize that I need some. I feel like I could be friends with her. She probably has some redeeming qualities. Definitely not. There's no one that's be friends with her. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. all the right. she was friends a, with. A bad example. She's like the But I feel one. like she's she's a human being. She must have There's some good. There's people Eli, like, oh, like, <laughs> Ethan, like, try to, like, flirt with me. Like, she told people that someone I know, like, a musical friend of ours that does YouTube, she like, her husband wanted me before you. I was like, wow, are you on crack her? Like, what are you talking about? Trisha has said that one consistent line and I'm not saying I believe her because of it, but whenever Trisha lies, she normally goes all over the place with her, you know, theories, whether you want to say that. But that one where she's saying that Gabby kind of alludes to things, to people's husbands or whatever, she's consistently said that. It doesn't mean that it's true, but it just means that Trisha, it's standing out to her. So I don't know if that stands for anything. Probably not, but like, let's keep listening. Oh, but, um, he starts with- How intelligent is this design, by the way? With Trisha the pink and black. I love it. Black pink! Worse privately, like he'll text me. I'm like, hey, can you just like stop? Because I have oh, yeah. anxiety. Yeah, can you tell me about? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he... he would like private text me about the Gabby Hanna situation, and I was just like, and I was always cool with him up until this point. Like even during your guys' beef, I thought it was funny because he would send me like merch, like he and I liked him. He was cool. Like I was like whatever with him, and then like all of a sudden this like Gabby Hanna thing. He asked me for an interview the week before Gabby came on. I was like, no, like I have no drama. Like why would I come on drama alert? I have to say, Trisha did the right thing in this instance. I mean, Gabby gave us stuff to talk about on my channel, so thank you, Gabby, for that. But Trisha is completely in the right here whenever she's saying that she turned on an interview because there's no drama. And that's what makes me believe Trisha whenever she's like, I didn't want to keep this drama going, right? Because she could have, but she chose not to. If, if she's about. telling the truth. But then second of all, so then he got Gabby, whatever, and then he was trying to get us to be like, I don't know. He was trying to ask me like, oh, well, what's your deal? And I was just like, can you just like drop it? I don't, I don't want to be associated with her. Cause she's like actually kind of like, she's off. Mm. I'm off too. I get help for it. I don't think she does, but I think it's different when you like off your meds or something. And so then, so I told him, I was like, I just, I really don't. I... This is the thing with Trisha, right? I, I don't like that her only criticism of Gabby seems to constantly be about her mental state. And like being off pills or being off medication, I think it's whether it's true or not, it's a low blow. I think just to anyone who is struggling with mental health. Really don't want to get associated with it. Because one, it's not drama that's going to make me views at all anyways. Not that, that I matter about that. But two, I literally was having so much anxiety that weekend. Like there was just a lot happening. This was whenever Trisha did the videos on Twitter, basically calling out Keemstar. We watched them on my channel. You should go watch that video. She was very angry. Very angry. And because I do have, I do have this guy that's reoccurring like stalker at my house. Anyways, it's not a big deal, but whatever. And so like people like jump my fence and I, I get triggered. So I was already triggered that weekend. And then that was happening. He's like, can you just like keep me out of drama? And he's like, no, I will not. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to block you. And then he posted our conversations on Twitter. So then I unblock him. I'm like, hey, can you like delete those? Like, can you just like, please leave me alone? He's like, I will not. Like he just kept going and hammering. Why won't you tell me? I'm not going to believe you until you show me police reports. Like it was just crazy. And I was like, Whoa. I understand the Keemstar's job, right? Is to do, you know what I'm doing here report on drama but it's kind of like this initiating drama is different than talking about public knowledge think about that are you like why do i have to prove it and you're just the worst like privately he just like yeah. wouldn't let it go and i had to block him again <clears throat> yeah he that's his thing he did god i feel like i'm talking like so slow no. yeah trisha is fucking literally put an m, &M instrumental on in the back and she'll be spinning bars i'm sorry because we <laughs> he always put it off in an hour and i have so much to say no, I feel that's that's his problem is that he's like when you talk to him, you have this expectation that you're talking to like a normal human being. Right. But he 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 really is he has there's something off because he he doesn't talk to you like a normal human yeah. being. He's always digging and digging and digging because he wants to produce content. And it's just it's, there's something sick about that though, yeah. because like even like I always said, like even off camera when we I truly didn't like you, like I feel like you were so nice to me off camera. Like you weren't like an asshole to me. Because yeah, I was This is the thing as well, and it's like Keemstar being friends or friendly or having the phone numbers at least of all the people he talks about, it's so easy for him to initiate stuff. And personally, I think if you're gonna talk about it, you shouldn't really have connections with any of the people because it will make you biased as fuck. So that's just my, I've always had that opinion. Like, you can fact check me. I've always said that. I was thinking about that, how, you know, our relationship started from that one video. Yeah. But that's the thing is because I, you know, my intention was, I, I felt bad that you felt bad. And I wanted to, um, you know, I, wa I wanted to, to not be rude to you, of course, if we yeah. talked off. But even, like, Elo was super nice. Like, the first day, I was, he like, made, I was mean about her. I was mean about saying that she... If you want a little bit of, you know, 
context here, Trisha was really rude to both Ethan and Hila, and they kind of did videos back and forth, and it wasn't a really strong connection or relationship at all, but Trisha's saying that they still treated her with respect off camera after they did podcasts ripping into each other. He was like, didn't stick up for herself, and she was like a submissive yeah, but bitch, was you know fine, what I mean? Yeah. By the way, when I say bitch, I mean it lovingly, but like, I hate that shoulder bitch. I say- I- that's- that's kind of how I say bitch, too. I call everyone bitch. People think I say it in a really strong way, though, like, people really come after me being like, you're calling her a bitch? I remember I used to call Taddy bitch and stuff, and people like, wow, you're calling Taddy a bitch? You're the lowest scum, and I'm like, I call everyone bitch. I call my mom bitch. My mom calls me bitch. I call my dad bitch. My dad calls me bitch. Fuck, even me and my lecturers call each other bitch. I have a lecture. I love Tracy. We call each other bitches. It's not that deep. There's a lot worse swear words that are a lot more normalized in dairy that I think would scare a lot of the Americans. Hey, bitch, like, everyone I But the thing, like, Keemstar made Ela cry once. Like, when he, uh, after he came on the podcast, and I was like, whatever, I know you got because everyone was mad at me, and I left this comment, like, I know you guys hate him, I do too, but I think we should talk about him because he's an interesting guy. And then he lost his shit. And Ela, and I was talk, I was trying to calm him down. I really like this hat, sorry. I was, like, sorry. in the DMs with him being like, dude, you know, it's not that big of a deal, I didn't mean it, like, I hate you, it's just a figure of speech. And he was, like, fucking losing his mind, and then Ela tried to talk to him, and he was, he, he, he made her cry, he was so fucking rude what did and relentless. Say? Honestly, it was years ago, I don't remember. Oh, just, like, words, just, like, nasty words? Yeah. I remember, like, this year, he was, like, calling her, like, a horse, or there was something with a horse. Oh, yeah, he... And I was, like, yeah. to me, that's, like, so gross, and you did do that. I didn't fight back. I was, like, in his defense, because I was, like, you also made fun of girls' looks, but at the same, like, it just, like, to me, that's well, gross when, like, old so. men, like, make fun of people's looks, even if it's for comedy, whatever. I think it's just, like, a low blow. Like, it's, like, well, that's what you're gonna make fun of, someone's, like, wife being ugly or something, or whatever they think, you know? Well, I guess I, I have made fun of people, women's looks, but... The thing about this podcast as well, the, if you're not watching this podcast, I would actually recommend it. It's very interesting. It's basically, these are two polar opposite people, Trish Paytas and Ethan. And so hearing them have conversations is quite entertaining. And they both have very similar experiences with a lot of YouTubers, which is why they can come together and agree on things with like Gabby Hanna or Keemstar or you know what I mean? So it's like, they both very much so disagree on a lot of things, but what they both agree on is that Keemstar has done them both very dirty, and I think there's a lot to be said about that. I think th it's like that targeted thing of being like, you're a horse, and then because then they like keep hammering it, and like this, like Leafy has it on a on a hoodie now. He made like a hoodie with a mm. horse. Yeah, like it's gross. It's ta I think it's nasty, but I think it's the same thing you know when you call Tana a Twinkie, and then I came on the podcast, and you still were like, yeah, she looked like a Twinkie. Like, it's still mean, no matter mm. what, because clearly Ela doesn't look like a horse, and Tana doesn't look like a Twinkie, and they know that. They're pretty, so they don't care, but at the same time, it's still nasty. It's just like, mm. you look gross. You just look, and I, I don't care if people have done it. Be like, oh, people do that for comedy or whatever. It's like, that's like a joke that we need, uh, people evolve, and like, the world evolves. I think that needs to evolve to stop like bashing girls with looks, that's your thing. Mm. Whoops. Like, it's a little blow to be like, Trisha's fat. Like, that's all I hear is you're fat. Okay, if I lose weight, then what are you going to come for me for? You know what I mean? It's like, who cares? Like, that's all you can say about me? I oh, that fat like, bitch? Okay. I, yeah, I you, really hated you, huh? You're such like a Judas, how you flip-flop between camps. I'm sure you'll be friends with Keemstar in a month from now. Absolutely Being like, no. yeah, Ethan's fucking, I had used to go to his house. And you'll make start making up no, shit like, no, and, no. When, and he put a camera in his bathroom, and he used to just call me ugly when I was house. And I'd be like, yeah, Keemstar, you go. Even though there's a camera in his bathroom, and I'm like, I wouldn't put it past you. I feel like you low-key are kind of pervy. She... She, Trisha goes, can I use the bathroom? I said, yeah, there's a camera in there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fine with me. I was kidding. You can post it on OnlyFans. <laughs> Girl. You do most of the legwork for this podcast, so I could do the most of the legwork for our OnlyFans collab. Trisha's so badly trying to get Ethan and her to do an OnlyFans collab. Girl, please, no. I really think what Ethan said about Trisha flip-flopping her opinions and maybe being friends with Keemstar in a while is actually very interesting. And that's someone from Trisha's close circle now saying that. So, if that happens in the future, we can refer back to this. But, I do think whenever Keemstar was siding with Gabby and stuff, I don't think it'll happen. I really don't, and I'm gonna put it down that I don't think it will. But guys, what's your opinion on this? Like, ugh. These are four adults. Right? <laughs> Did she sneeze after me? Monty just sneezed after me and it was so cute. Oh god, you heard my voice, I speak to Monty in. <clears throat> so embarrassing. But guys, what's your opinion on this? And um, what do you think about Trisha speaking up about that Keemstar reached out to her? You know so much trying to get her to do an interview 
and Gabby agreed to it after. So was Gabby the second choice with Keemstar? And why did he want both of them? And it's like, okay, I get it, views and ratings. But Keemstar even came out and was like, that video didn't get, <laughs> you know, the amount of views. I think he literally said that the video was like, oh my god, yeah, Gabby Hanna's name is Shadowbank because my video didn't get that many views. It's like, people really don't care for this drama. Like, we enjoy talking about it on here because we can look at it from like a we don't care <laughs> point of view. But I want to know what your opinion is. And um, what do you think about Ethan's comment at the end where he was like, yeah, Trisha can flip flop, you know, her opinion on people. I think it was quite interesting. I want to know how you're feeling about this. Let me know. I love you. I will see you in the next video. And bye.